This is the Mountain Hardware Super Mega UL2. This tent is all about minimalist and streamlined design while still giving you great protection from the elements. This tent has a single door on the front. Uh, you can see here you've got a nice D-shape opening climbing in and out of the tent. Um, it is, looks like a two pole structure. It's actually a single pole with a hub design. Uh, it's real easy to put together and it's very easy to figure out which ends of the poles go where. Uh, Mount Hardware is using a DAC Featherlight NSL poles, so you've got great construction as well as lightweightness and durability in the poles. And you can see there's an easy clip system that attaches the uh, tent body to the poles themselves. So now I'm sitting inside the Super Mega UL2. You can see I can sit up here. Uh, you know, my head's not touching the ceiling. With two people in here, you're probably going to have to move over and lean up against the sides a little bit. You do have a single pocket for storage here. Uh, as well as a single loop at the top here that'd be great for hanging a headlamp or a lantern from. So even though this tent is a pretty small, minimal design, you know, I'm sitting up in here and I can move in and out of the door pretty easily without having to hunch and climb through it. Um, so I think it, even though it's smaller, it does offer uh, a design that allows for better movement than some tents I've seen of this size and weight. Uh, Mount Harbor does use this has this pole kind of extend out here and connect into this hub, which really draws the front of the tent out, gives you that extra headspace at the top to move in and out of the door. Uh, and you'll see when we put the fly on that it's also going to give you a dry pitch uh, door feature. So we're going to take a look here at uh, the connection point for the poles to the tent body, the stake, and the fly as well. It's a little different than most other uh, models or what you're typically seeing. Uh, you've got a small hole in this plastic piece that the tent pole fits into. And you can see you've got a larger tab here. And what that is is it's for the fly. So here's the fly. You've got this really lightweight quick adjustment buckle here. It works really smooth. And you've got just kind of a little toggle here that's going to slide through there. And then you put those two flat edges against it. When you snug this down, it kind of creates enough tension there. So th that's how the, uh, how the fly is going to connect into that buckle system. And then, of course, you've got your uh, piece of cord here that goes out to your stake. Another kind of unique feature that Mountain Hardware has added here is on either side of the long side of the tent, you've got uh, a little tab in here. And connected to the fly where it matches up, there's a, a hook that connects into that pulls out to the fly and then you can pull the whole thing out when you stake it out to the side. So not only are you going to get really good airflow under the sides of the tent here that work with that mesh canopy we saw earlier, but it really holds the floor of the tent out so you don't have that issue where the fabric on the floor is kind of like bunching and, and gathering around inside the tent. So here's a Super Mega UL2 with the fly on. You've got eight points to stake this tent out with. Um, based on the shelter being lightweight and small, I'd probably go ahead and use all eight of those points. You do have uh, guy lines here, one on each side, with plenty of cord as well to go ahead and stake that out to trees if you were gonna be in a really uh, bad weather or high windy situation. So I wanted to give you a look at that drip-free entrance I mentioned earlier. You can see where that long main pole comes out and hangs over the door. Uh, it clips into a little little hub there on the tent body that it really pulls the fly out over the door. So if it's raining and you've got the door open, the rain's going to fall down, but it's not actually going to fall into the interior of the tent, uh, which is something that, depending on the design of the tent, can frequently happen. So it's kind of an extra bonus. It's a great design, improves the headroom there as well. And you can see you've got a small vestibule, not much room there. You could probably get a pack and a boots in there um, or just a couple sets of boots. And if you have two folks, you may have to store your packs inside this tent. So that's the Mountain Hardware Super Mega UL2. Uh, tent weighs in at two pounds, two ounces. So super lightweight. It's a great shelter, good protection from the elements for anybody who's looking for a really nice package. It doesn't weigh much, but does need that weather protection. There is a footprint that is optional. It's sold separately. If you purchase a footprint, this tent does have a, uh, a lightweight pitch setup, which means you can leave that tent body at home and just pitch the poles with the fly and the footprint to have an even lighter weight option. The Super Mega UL2 does come with a stuff sack. I just wanted to give you a look at how small and compact this, this, uh, this tent packs up to.